Yes Hi children How are you all Hope all are doing fine at home and regularly watching the classes That's great Yes let me welcome you all to the English class the second session If you just observe the textbook Yes are you familiar with the textbook This is lessons for 8th standard Lesson number one, Tenali Rama. Are you all ready, children? Yes, that's great. Then take out your textbook, pen, pencil, notepad. Let us begin our today's session. Before going to the lesson, my dear students, I just want to tell you uh, three important words. Because in my last session, I told about the sloka and also about the way to get success am i right yes children if you just observe the three words over here the three words are fail end no my dear students try to understand these are very very important yes always remember when you come across the word fail in your life always remember when you come across the word end in your life and always remember when someone will say that no to you then you have to remember the definition that is the word fail says that first attempt in learning yes don't get upset if you get fail you have to think in a positive way that fail means first attempt in learning second word is e n d we generally think oh ho oh, oh, ho it got end yo mugudoy talwa end ay talwa no e n d refers to efforts never dies always remember my dear students e n d refers to efforts never dies and the next one is very interesting just always remember when someone will say no to you when someone will say directly no to you then remember no always says next opportunity what is that next opportunity there is always a next opportunity so what does these three words make us to feel that make us to feel that we have to think always positively positive thinking right that is why of course everybody want get, get to get success in their life everybody want to get success in their life so that is why remember this particular quotation what does it mean failure cannot overtake you failure cannot overtake you when your determination to get success is strong enough how interesting right yes did you understand everyone yes the failure cannot overtake you when your determination to get success is strong enough always have a strong determination that you will get success in your life and always remember if someone will say fail that is a first attempt in learning when you come across end that is effort never dies and when someone will say no always remember there is a next opportunity i hope you understood these words and the quotation everyone so with that positive quotation with that positive energy let us begin our class fine so before going to the lesson let us recall what we have studied in our previous class in my previous session i have explained about the story of tenali rama did you remember everyone yes yes in that story i said that one day a stranger came to tenali rama's house and he asked tenali rama that he will stay for two days right and that particular stranger was sent by the neighboring king in order to kill krishna devaraya that is the word conspiracy 
right and afterwards in the absence of tenali rama that stranger wrote a letter to the king krishna devaraya saying that saying that yes children tenali rama's wife is not feeling well that's great you have remembered the story very nice ah huh? good afterwards what happened the king krishna devaraya had a great respect for tenali rama's family so he himself came to the house of tenali rama in order to see tenali rama's wife if necessary he wanted to take her to the royal doctor did you remember the discussion that we have done in our previous class remember that's great so in today's session we will see what's going to happen next okay and also we have discussed about a small story about a thirsty crow yes in that story i said about a very important message did you remember yes a story about a clever thirsty crow yes you are all familiar with the story but i said about the message what is that message did you remember everyone yes yes very good the message is think and plan you will find a way to solve the problems and also i said think think smart think uh, actively and wisely and act smartly let me repeat think wisely act smartly that's great afterwards even i said about dictionary work and even spelling test i told that every day at least practice or write some 10 words from the dictionary and half page handwriting after that even i spoke about parts of speech in which i said about noun pronoun verb adverb yes that's good you have remembered huh? that's great yes and after that i gave a home assignment that is a story about let us see what is the story about that's great yes this is a home assignment i gave you people hope you have done the homework and this particular paragraph you have to fill it with the blanks and those words are in the box shall we see the answer i think you have done the answer you have written the answer let us check whether the answers are right or wrong okay fine let us see the answers now the heading is the dash women the foolish women is the title of the story yes what is this the foolish women yes let us see the answer now once there lived a woman in a village so whatever the underlined word are there those are the you know filled answers there so those are the answers that have filled it over there okay just observe with your answers tally the answers okay children good once there lived a woman in a village she had a hen she had a hen one day the hen laid a golden egg yes l a i d laid a golden egg l a i d is the answer next the woman was very happy yeah the hen has laid a golden egg the woman was very happy she thought that there would be a many eggs in its belly m a n y many is the word we have filled in the blank she thought that there would be a many eggs in its belly she decided to cut what what she has done she decided to cut and open the hen's stomach and get all the eggs together yes she thought that there might be a number of golden eggs in the belly of a hen so she thought of cutting its stomach so that she could get all the eggs together so she took a knife she took a knife and cut the belly and opened it but alas see the exclamatory mark alas something sad something very very sad what is that there was no more eggs in its stomach now the woman felt very sad the woman felt very sad so what did it show she regretted about her foolishness she regretted about her foolishness foolishness andre murkathana adike evattigu naavu murkathanadinda behave maadabardu foolish ag behave maadabardu wise ag behave maadbeku anta kanthadde ee ondu kathaya saramsha artha aita makle i think this is really an interesting story right children that's great so always remember think wisely don't behave foolishly that's great yes let us see the glossary words now 
See, this is uh, very interesting to know because before going to the lesson, if you know the meaning of the words, you can able to understand uh, the summary and even the content clearly. Right? Yes, children. So, in glossary words, the first word is stranger. Yes, I think even uh, in my previous session, I uh, told about this word. Stranger and the aparichita vekti. Someone you don't know. Someone you don't know. And then, again, Parichaya ilde irta kantha vekti and now in the kritivi stranger. Sentence nodi. What is the sentence? He is a complete stranger to me. He is a complete stranger to me. Awanu sampurna vagi obba aparichita vekti agidane and the kantha do. So that's what. I hope you understood the meaning there. Second word. Yes, this is really interesting. Opportunity. What is this? Opportunity. That is avakasha. In other avakasha. So at this point of time, shall I say a quotation, children? Yes. Let us see. Let just listen to the word uh, because we are getting this particular word called opportunity. I just want to tell you a small quotation. What is that? All of us don't have equal talent. All of us don't have equal talent, but all of us have an equal opportunity to develop our talent. Hope you have understood the meaning over there. Yes, this is what the word opportunity means. An occasion or situation which make it possible to do something. Yes, on the avakasha doriyitte, on the avakasha sigitte. So, in sentence if you see there, it was the perfect opportunity to test her talent. It was a perfect opportunity for us to exhibit our talent. It was a perfect opportunity for us to learn and care and share about many things. How nice, no? How beautiful this particular word is. Always remember, so there will be a very good opportunity. Even in the beginning also we said, when someone will say no, what does it mean? Yes, that is next opportunity. That's lovely. You have remembered that one. How nice the word is, right? That's great. Fine. The next word is dagger. A short edged stabbing weapon. Yes. Something like a knife we can say. Yes. Next word is reflection. I hope you have uh, heard about this word reflection. A throwing back by a body or a surface of light, heat or sound without observing it. That is what reflection is all about. So what this particular word in the lesson let us see in the textbook. And the next one is very interesting. That is presence of mind. How lovely, na? This particular word uses a wonderful message. Always have a good presence of mind. Just imagine you are pedaling a bicycle, but your presence of mind is not with you. Then just think what is going to happen. Right? Yes. Whenever you do some work, you have to have a presence of mind. That is what the very interesting thing we need to understand. Presence of mind means the ability to remain calm and take a quick and a sensible action. What is that? A sensible action. When you have a very good presence of mind, then only you will take a sensible action. If not, it will be an insensible action. Try to understand. Hope you understood the meaning over there. That's good. Next one is humor. What is this? The quality of being amusing, especially as expressed in speech. That is a mood or state of mind. As I said that Tenali Rama is known for his great wit and humor. That is sense of humor. So that's what, that's all about the meaning of these particular words. Let us see the lesson now. Now I request all of you to open the textbook in page number 2. That is the continuation of the story of Tenali Rama. As I told that in my previous session, I have explained that the king Krishna Devaraya himself has came to the house of Tenali Rama in order to see Tenali Rama's wife. But now there was a surprise. What is that? See there, thinking thus the king sat on his horse. The king here refers to Krishna Devaraya, sat on his horse and reached Tenali Rama's house. When he reached Tenali Rama's house, there was some conspiracy. There was something surprise, something very danger to the king. What is that? The stranger was hiding himself behind the main door. The stranger was hiding himself behind the main door. He had a sharp dagger in his hand. He had a sharp dagger. It's something like a knife which will be used to stab, you know. Something like that. 
so now the moment the moment he raised his hand to stab the king the king krishna devaraya saw his reflection in the mirror hanging on the wall see how nice his presence of mind how active his presence of mind as soon as king krishna devaraya stepped in he just saw a mirror which was hanging on a wall and he saw the stranger who was hiding behind the main door and he was having a dagger he was about to stab him he was about to kill him so that is what the conspiracy right that is what the stranger was planning as yes? that's great now let us see showing a great presence of mind and agility now the king, king krishna devaraya having a great presence of mind he was active at that uh, point of time that is what we said you know the sensible action so he was just observe quickly agility means move quickly the king quickly moved aside and he struck and he struck the stranger hard on his head see that is what uh, the point of time that we need to understand the king krishna devaraya was very good in his presence of mind he quickly moved aside because he saw the stranger uh, you know uh, hiding behind the main door and he just observed in a mirror and quickly he moved aside and he struck the stranger hard on his head when he struck hard on his head the dagger fell from the stranger's hand when the guard heard the loud sound thud they rushed inside the house and caught the stranger this is what the interesting part of the story my dear students now you need to remember tenali rama is not at home now the stranger has planned to kill the king krishna devaraya luckily with the great presence of mind krishna devaraya was escaped from the danger so what happened next what happened to tenali rama what was the answer given by tenali rama so who was this stranger exactly and how he is related to the tenali rama again number of questions right so this part of the questions and all will see in the next one so at that point of time just then tenali ram also came there he came to know that the stranger who he had given shelter had tried to kill the king krishna devaraya now it was a surprising very surprising moment for tenali ram because he was not even knowing about the stranger that he has planned to kill the king krishna devaraya that is what he has he was thinking about he had given shelter to the stranger who had tried to kill the king krishna devaraya when tenali rama went to the court the king was burning with rage the king was in a in a great anger he was he was seri seriously very angry on tenali rama now the question for tenali rama so what was the question asked by krishna devaraya how did he reply and what was the reaction and what was the result that part we'll see in our next session hope you have understood the lesson up to here my dear students yes that's great so now let's go to a small activity okay that activity is about opposite words what is that yes shall we see the activity about opposite words that's great yes here goes the small video about here are some examples of opposite words with pictures happy sad on off off on small big big small right left left right hot cold many few less more day
फ्रेंड बैक बैक फ्रेंड लॉन्ग शॉर्ट शॉर्ट लॉन्ग Yes. How was the video? Was is it indeed interesting? Yes. Now I request all of you to open your textbook page number four. There is one activity that is write the opposites of the following words. Yes, my dear students, try to understand opposite words. This is really interesting. Just observe. Write the opposite of the following words. They have given some six words. If you just observe the slide over here and we will find there are the answers has been given over here let us see the answers now okay what is the opposite word for far something which is very far something which is very near no i think this is a, a easy to say the answer opposite word for far near what is the opposite word for behind something what is there behind me and what is there in front of me so the word preposition is very interesting and we will see the definition of the preposition in the next class okay so that is what we need to understand preposition is a word which relates the noun or a pronoun so that is a oh sorry uh, so this is about the opposite words at the same time uh, behind and front and uh, in on or prepositions that we'll see in the next class fine so here opposite word for far is near behind is front presence is absence hard is soft arrive depart forget remember let me tell you once again see all the six words the opposite word for far near behind front presence absence hard soft arrive depart forget remember so these are the opposite words given in your textbook in page number 4 just note down the answers quickly is it clear children yes let's go to the next one yes in my previous session i just gave the heading of parts of speech under that i gave all the eight parts of speech uh, quickly anyone will say how many parts of speech are there in english yes good eight parts of speech in my previous session i said about there are eight parts of speech are there in english they are noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction and interjection i think you have remembered that that's great so on that note let us see the definition of a noun noun is the name of a person place animal and things example raju is a good boy here raju is a person hampi is a historical city hampi is a place lion is the king of a forest lion is the name of an animal book is on the table book and table are the things so that is a definition for noun second one is pronoun pro noun as the word say pro noun means instead of noun pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun example he she it they i we you him like that many more if you observe the example vijay is reading a book here vijay is noun instead of vijay we have used he vijay is reading book he is in class 8 like that anu is dancing she is dancing well instead of anu we have used the word she hope you are under, under, getting the point there that's good third one bangalore is a large city instead of bangalore we have used the word it it is the capital city of karnataka which is the capital city of karnataka yes bangalore instead of bangalore what is the word that i have used it that's great again the fourth example ram and sam are friends who are friends ram and sam are friends next they play together the word they refers to whom here ram and sam so instead of a noun we have used the word they so the words which are used instead of a noun are called as pronoun hope you have got the definition of noun and pronoun and even the examples if so 
let us see a small activity now what is that activity children try to understand it's a small activity and quickly you need to answer now what is this activity write the name of a person place animal animal and thing by using the following letters i will give you one letter for example i give a letter that is alphabet letter a or letter r or letter s you need to say the person name name of a place name of an animal and name of a thing using the same letter in the beginning if you just observe uh, observe the uh, slide you can able to make out a a for alicia a for america a for anaconda or a ambulance so here alicia name of a person america name of a place anaconda name of an animal ambulance name of a thing like that r name of a person raj place raichur animal rabbit thing room letter s person name shankar place name singapore animal snake thing shoe letter h person name harish place hospital animal horse thing hammer i hope you understood the activity here you can also do number of activity like this by the children do one thing you just sit together with your friends and one of your friend will give a letter for example they will give a letter called b your friend will say okay one will say name of a person the other one will say name of a place the another one will say name of an animal and the next one will say name of a thing so beautiful activity so that you can exchange your ideas so with this you can able to remember this one for a longer time too if uh, if your friend will say the letter b uh, name of a person is okay basha name of a place bangalore and name of an animal bear and the thing is ball like that you can just exchange your ideas about this particular activity by using number of letters like this that's right and afterwards let us see quickly the types of noun this is very interesting because in our next class we will we will be discussing about collective noun and countable and countable noun so here if you just observe types of noun we have concrete noun abstract noun under that again common noun proper noun collective noun material noun at last we have countable and uncountable noun remember this chart and remember always okay that's great and next one is let us see about the preposition i said before only okay in in your textbook in page number 5 they have given about preposition let us see the definition of preposition preposition is a word used before a noun or a pronoun to show the direction of time place location or relationship or to introduce an object Yes if you just see the examples quickly in hindi also we say some of the words let me tell you some of the words in hindi too if you see the example in means under on means upar under means niche behind means peeche beside means bagal mein between means beech mein above means upar in front of means samne yes i hope you understood the meaning of these words now these are all called, we can say uh, we have a simple preposition phrase preposition compound preposition right so in under on upar so remember these words and how to use and where to use is very important so let us see the next one now so in your textbook also they have given an activity fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions given in a bracket they have given with at to of or behind let us see the first example the king was sitting dash the throne the king was sitting on the throne on is the preposition right that's great he was hiding himself dash the main door that is what i was explaining before behind right front i was explaining when i was talking about opposite words right that's great he was hiding himself behind the main door behind is a preposition his mission was dash kill the king his mission was to kill the king two two is the preposition there then rohini went to the market dash her mother rohini went to the market with her mother with is the preposition that's good fifth one father began to shout dash rama father began to shout at at rama see at is a very interesting preposition it gives sometimes you no know, at that point of time at that corner you know sense of time sense of place like that fine that is again the next part of the lesson there but all that you need to understand the simple prepositions have been used in different way in if you see the last example that is the sixth example 
I came from a far dash village. I came from a far off village. Hope you got the meaning and answer for all these activity that has been given in your textbook. Quickly note down and write down in your textbook. Okay. This is an activity regarding preposition. So there is a word game also in a textbook. So make many words as possible as uh, from the following word. The word is teacher in which teach her tear tea like this. This is a, another activity. You can also use it in your uh, uh, no free time. Uh, by by framing number of uh, no words from a given uh, word there. So at last, let me give you a home assignment. I want you to observe these four pictures. Okay, if you see the picture number one, two, three, and four, observe these pictures, and I want you to frame the story. Look at the pictures and expand the story. So and even give a title for this story. So this particular story we will discuss again in my next session is that clear children hope you have all uh, understood the concept of today's session and grammar and even home assignment so thank you so much so presented by mr rahman ali working as an english teacher government higher primary school budgumpa koppal district koppal taluk anudina anukshana Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. That's it, ma'am.